Hey, hey, part two of the F1 2024 car launch. We've had Aston Martin, McLaren, Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari unveiling their 24 Challenger. With, we have some very interesting choices, so let's go. Okay, let's start with the Aston Martin. I think Aston Martin last year took uh, 2022 Red Bull and used a lot of the philosophy that was made on the Red Bull uh, in 2022. And I feel like the 2024 Aston Martin is an upgraded 2023 Red Bull. I mean, I don't blame them. That's the That was the fastest car last year. Um, you can see the side pods on the side. You can see the, 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 yeah, the front wing um, from the front three quarter. Uh, you can see the small tiny air entry for on the side pods, the rear wing. They pushed a, uh, they pushed their philosophy um, and what they did last year to uh, the next level. As I say, they, they very, very much used what was the fastest car on the paddock and upgraded it. Um, so on the paper, it should work well. Um, but yes, it is it is an upgraded version of what they had last year, which also is some inspiration from Red Bull. So why not doing it when uh, Red Bull has been dominating so far? One thing that we noticed this year on the trend is the rear bodywork shape. It's not the nicest in the world, but seems that Pretty much every team has been running that shape at the back. Livery wise, I should have started with this. Love it. Beautiful green, beautiful design. Um, I think it's one of the nicest cars out there. McLaren's clearly been the team that impressed me the most last year uh, through the development and they come back. I think this, this car is an upgraded version of the upgraded version they had last year. They found a a place that worked really well for them, especially on a high downforce. I think low downforce, they were still a little bit down, but absolutely uh, impressive 2023 season. So 2024, as I said, they kind of upgraded their car. You can see the front wing pretty loaded all the way to the outside and then then creating that wash that we've seen with most of the team. Side pods a little bit different than other teams, um, trying to bring as much air down as they can and through the front suspension that you can see, clearly they they really try to, to put a lot of emphasis on trying to get air through the front suspension uh, to uh, the front of the side pod, side pod and the diffuser. Uh, the, the side pods, the rear of the side pods as every other team very shaped very aggressively towards the diffuser. We've got that rear bodywork shape uh, that uh, that we've seen on, on most of the car. Uh, the new trend as well on the rear end plate where they cut uh, ahead of the flap, the DRS flap that seems to be working pretty well on, on most of the car. And yeah, uh, from, from the front, the three quarter front, we see that uh, little extension in front of the nose. So the nose is not coming towards the last plate of the front wing uh, they try to have that little scoop there uh, it's even more obvious on another team later on uh, but yes I, I feel like it's a it's a very good upgraded version of what they are last year and clearly they found something that worked really well for them in 2023 so I'm hoping they can go and uh, and chase Red Bull and everyone else and, and give us a, an exciting season that is my favorite Mercedes F1 team. Uh, I think it's the most good looking car. Uh, I'm glad to see the Silver Arrow back um, on the track. I think there's a lot. It is It is the car that was the Red Bull. <laughs> um, I'm the most intrigued to see on track. I think there's some very bold move. There's some very bold decision made on the car. Uh, Let's, let's get it into it. Look at that front wing and that big scoop. It does remind me a lot of the 2006 F1 car uh, that we uh, I used to be in love with. 2005, 2006 is my favorite time in, in Formula 1 history. And then look at those side pods. Yes, they went for very small air entry uh, to get as much, as much flow as they can under the side pods. But they went for a different shape than everyone else. Different shape until I saw the last one that was released. Uh, revealed, I should say, but very excited about about that front wing. Very excited about um, that side pod entry. The front wing design with with a lot of a uh, lot of very different plate size, uh, flap size. So look at oh, compared to the nose, a big they are, and then they go tiny towards the the outside. Um, yeah, it's it's even more 
pronounced from the front of the car. Uh, that front wing is, is very intense, uh, very, very loaded. So they must be very confident in their rear downforce because there's one thing that is very easy to do in Formula 1 is create a lot of front downforce. You just put a big front wing and you're going to have all the downforce of the world you want. But, but everything that, every flow of air that hits the Formula 1 car hits the front wing first. So if the air doesn't go exactly where you're planning on getting it after it hit the front wing, you are not going to go anywhere. And that's, uh, that is a key element in every Formula 1 car. Side pods a little bit different than everyone else. Longer, a little bit less steep, maybe a bit narrower. The rear bodywork, as everyone else, we've got that, uh, I don't know, Mickey Mouse here shape uh, under the 63 of George Russell. Open rear end plate on the, on the rear wing, as we discussed. But yes, I must admit they are, they are very, uh, very intense choices on that car and i'm excited to see what it does i'm, I'm really hoping to see mercedes back fighting at the front uh with ferrari with Brad Bull, with aston martin with mclaren with any, with anyone basically i want anyone to be fighting but i think in terms of everything we've seen everyone seems to be quite conventional to the point that sort of mercedes that is very different and very unique Ciao alla bella Ferrari. <laughs> uh, yes, Ferrari, red, iconic, uh, beautiful car. I like some of the, I mean, I like the design. Uh, I like that that line, makes it a bit modern. Um, I like the big Ferrari sticker on the rear wings. That reminds me of the old good Ferraris. And um, design-wise, with some very interesting uh, choices. Um, the front wing, they kept uh, main plate separated from the nose. We've seen that on the Aston Martin. We've seen that on the Mercedes. We've seen that on the Ferrari last year. Uh, side pod entrance very much uh, inspired by Red Bull. Um, the very tiny side pod entrance is back, as far back as they can push it. And then massive slides at the back of the side pod. It's like a big effort where, um, where the black carbon is to... Uh, direct the air exactly where they want it to be directed to uh, and look at the side of the halo i think that's pretty cool that's that's something we haven't seen before on the side of the halo they've used uh, the base to kind of create a yeah a tunnel to re redirect the air exactly where they want to uh that that is um that's something very interesting uh, on the car that i uh, that i saw straight away if we compare the front from 2023 to 2024, uh, front wing similar, uh, maybe a little bit less turning veins on it, uh, quite loaded in if all the way, and finally at the end, um, washing out. Uh, the front suspension, I think the upper wish one have been pushed up, trying to bring as much air as they can towards the, the diffuser and underneath the side pods. The side pod entrance, we mentioned them, pretty, uh, pretty significant, you can change there. We can see the halo here, on a three-quarter comparison, I think really you can see that the difference there. They had some big side pods last year, quite uh, quite impressive side pods, really really massive. I know uh, they've definitely went for the Red Bull type philosophy, trying to bring as much air as they can down towards the the diffuser. So first of all, I think it's a very good looking car. Second of all, I think they've they've made some good cho choices. Uh, it's a little bit more conventional than that the Mercedes, for example but it could work uh, very, very well. Red Bull Formula 1 team, the car, that team that dominated the last two years. Um, I didn't really know what to expect and a whole surprise I would be seeing that new car if they were just going to carry on the car from last year was a bit of an updated or if they were going to go for some interesting uh, moves and they did, they absolutely did. Um, front wing uh, looks like a Beautiful moustache, if I'm being honest. Very, very loaded to the center. Not so much on the inside and the outside. It's kind of a, a different shape from from the others. And uh, look at uh, look at those side pods entrance. Um, they, I mean, I was very interested in the Mercedes side pod entrance, and the Red Bulls are not so dissimilar. Uh, very tiny, very much on the inside. Um, very different from what we've seen last year. Look at how clearly you can see the front of the diffuser where they're going to bring a lot of air for the ground effect. 
look how wide the suspension, the front suspension are trying to get as much or nothing in the way to uh, the front of the floor. The nose uh, goes to the, the main plate. Uh, that's also a difference from last year. From the side, uh, the rear bodywork, the Mickey Mouse here's uh, pretty, pretty significant on that car. Very tiny side pods. Um, the best will be to compare 23 and 24. So uh, the side pods, a little bit less extreme at the back, the way they're going down, but the difference is really at the front of the side pods. The difference is the front wing with the nose going all the way down. That's on a three quarter view. On the front view, the, the moustache front wing was here last year already. Um, side pod insurance mentioned the rear wing, not so much difference, but uh, also the pull road front suspension different from everyone else that's on a push road. Uh, quite uh, some. Um, some interesting, uh, interesting choices made by Red Bull, and I'm very excited to see what that car is going to be doing on track. Because obviously, the last two years they were unbeatable, uh, and they seems that they just didn't go a step in a conservative direction. But they went for a very aggressive car, and uh, very, uh, very interesting choices. So, first race of the season is coming up soon, and we should have a first answers. But uh, definitely some, uh, some very exciting, uh, exciting livery this week. Uh, the big boys, and uh, now it's time that we get to see them on track. Hope you enjoy. I try to give you as much as I could from the inside and look those pictures. Please, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you very soon.